top 16 teams of the world. 17 days, 44 matches, and for the very first time, held across two iconic venues. Over 30,000 spectators in the stadiums, live beaming across the world. And behind all this lies the sweat and tears of over thousands of dedicated support staff. So no airport, no stadium and no players village. The only thing which was there was determination. The hockey found uh, their home in, uh, in Odisha. This is the making of the Men's Hockey World Cup 2023. Welcome to the Hockey World Cup 2023, an extravaganza of 44 nail-biting matches. 16 teams over 17 days, five confederations represented as all teams go for World Cup glory. It took a team of thousands of people working behind the scenes for more than two years across multiple cities to get here. But how did the team manage to get here successfully? The Men's Hockey World Cup, held every four years, is organized by FIH, or Federazione Internazionale di Hockey, and each time, countries bid to host the World Cup. Hockey had ignited the imagination of India before it was called as India, because we won Olympic medals in international arena when India was not even recognized as a country. So that is the connect India has with hockey. Chief Minister Sri Navin Patnaik wanted to honor this passion. After multiple rounds of discussion in late 2019, Hockey India and Government of Odisha won the bid. Their plan included hosting the Men's Hockey World Cup in two cities for the first time ever. Both venues in Orissa, India. A feat that has never ever been attempted, let alone achieved. And to tackle this mammoth task, the organizing teams are leaving no stone unturned. The overall management was done by the sports department. Mr. Vinil Krishna is the secretary and the Honorable Minister Dushar Ganti Behra. Both of them played a major role in planning, execution, day-to-day -day monitoring and everything. If you are having two venues to be organizing the uh, World Cup, it is almost like organizing two World Cups. Now, Odisha has become a global hub for hockey. Uh, everyone's expectation is very high, so this government is putting all its effort to make it more successful uh, than in uh, 2018. In 2018, the city of Bhuvaneshwar, Odisha, was the home of the Hockey World Cup. The second venue chosen for the World Cup is a city called Raurkela, 330 kilometers away from Bhuvaneshwar. Raurkela is seen as the cradle for hockey in India. So this was the backdrop in which Honorable CM decided to have the World Cup hosted here in Raurkela. He wanted to honor the passion of hockey-loving people of Raurkela. While Raurkela had multiple sports stadiums, it did not have anything that could host a World Cup. Any city that hosts the World Cup must have FIH's strict infrastructure requirements. That includes world-class stadiums, hotels, easy transit and communication. While Bhuvneshwar had all of the above, Raurkela had to build most things from scratch. A tall order by any means. It's like uh, we are organizing a World Cup in, uh, in a city like Rorkela, which has never hosted a single international match, and we are directly going into a World Cup match. When you are hosting a World Cup, people should remember the venue, the facilities, the infrastructure. So when you have passion to do something for a sport, you will think from all angles. The Honorable CM actually did that. The Orissa government's task was cut out for them in Rorkela creating a new stadium of international standard, building a World Cup village with accommodation equivalent to a five-star hotel, and last but not the least, expanding the current airport 
to accommodate commercial flights. The Rorkela had an airstrip with a very limited uh, capacity uh, planes uh, that were able to land there. Uh, so it was decided to expand the uh, runway and construct a new terminal uh, building. So that at least the ATR flights with uh, 72 seater can uh, land there and cater to the needs of the uh, World Cup uh, teams and also the uh, families and fans. All construction was to be finished before the World Cup began in a matter of 15 months. Approximately 10,000 metric tons of steel, over 42,000 cubic meters of concrete, 2,300 construction professionals, 20 hours a day, for 15 months, over 2 million safe personals. Will the team win this race against time? Work on all three fronts, the stadium, the World Cup village, and the commercial airport began at war footing. But to ruin a perfect start, tragedy struck the world and the construction was put on hold indefinitely. So while we were planning for creating the infrastructure, then COVID hit and we were all busy. The entire government was busy in uh, COVID management. First of all, the time itself is a challenge to do everything in such a short time. And then we had always this uncertainty of uh, supply chain dislocation due to COVID. All our international stuff coming from so many countries. So suddenly somewhere some problem and your shipment gets delayed. So it was a big challenge. As the world healed from a devastating pandemic, work on the World Cup facilities and Raul Kela started again. Work on the World Cup village having five distinct blocks, 225 rooms, a swimming pool and a practice facility was underway as well. In August, another major delay posed problems, the monsoons. Heavy rains for days put the teams under pressure. This year also we had extended monsoon. So for considerable time, outdoor work was completely stopped. It's not finished yet, but the way they work, the way they accomplish, the number of people on site, I have no doubt that this will be finished in time. With the construction work in full swing at Raul Kela, in September 2022, a function to decide on the schedule and the team pool draw function takes place in Bhuvaneshwar. Time flew by as work on all three fronts, the stadium, the World Cup village and the airport reached finishing stages, still racing against time. And in the meantime, it is time for the trophy tour, starting from Bhuvaneshwar. The chief minister hands over the trophy to Dilip Tirki former Indian hockey team captain and president of Hockey India. From Odisha, the trophy went on a national tour from Chennai to Delhi, Mumbai to Guwahati, and to every district in Odisha, spreading the World Cup fever. With less than one month left for the World Cup, an all-party meeting was held to take stock of progress on all fronts. I also wish to thank you for having come to attend this important meeting. The goal is well within sight. The teams have pulled it off. After passing all safety tests, the airport has been operationalized just in time for the World Cup. In the end, it was all uh, done. And uh, just in time, we could uh, do the trial of the uh, ATR flights and the commercial flights could also be operationalized uh, uh, just before the uh, World Cup. And just in time, the commercial airport, the World Cup village and the stadium stood completed.
Honorable Chief Minister inaugurated the stadium and the World Cup village and dedicated it to the people of Orissa. And with this, the Orissa government has not only created a World Cup stadium, but made a world record. Birsa Munda Hockey Stadium Raurkela has become the largest seated hockey stadium in the world. This stadium has been technically so nicely designed that every seat you'll be able to see every angle of the ball movement and the player movement. Even after having the world's one of the largest stadium, all the tickets were sold out. It's like 100% sold out of all the tickets in like a couple of days. Heavy footfall means a strong back-end team is required. Hockey India has formed different specialized teams to ensure the smooth running of the tournament. The teams are briefed thoroughly. It is essential to know every small detail. High levels of security were also present to ensure a safe and enjoyable experience for the audiences. The first commercial flight from Bhuvaneshwar lands in Raurkela and soon the participating teams start flying in January to acclimatize to the new environment. And they receive the best of facilities provided by five-star hotel chain, the Taj Group. Ensuring the availability of all equipment and consumables in large numbers is not an easy task. Now, all eyes are on the opening ceremony. A glittering opening ceremony to commemorate the start of the biggest hockey tournament in the world. Performances from Indian and international entertainment stars enthrall one and all. The celebration was elevated to new heights with a powerful anthem. With an impressive turnout of important dignitaries, team representatives and people, This is the perfect precursor to the top event of the hockey world. After the celebrations of the opening ceremony, there is an air of excitement and anticipation with just a day to go for the World Cup. With more eyes watching than ever before, the Men's Hockey World Cup is an extravaganza unlike any other. Multiple cameras, elaborate setups and a strong technical team are the backbone behind the event going live across the globe. Now, our 18 cameras camera hai jaise do super slow mo's hain ek aapke ultra hai इस बार हमने पहली बार कोशिश किया एरो कैम्प को यूज करके किया जो स्पेशली हम प्लेटिक ऑनर्स की कवरेज में यूज करते हैं इसको हम द बिगेस्ट स्टेज ऑफ द मॉल द वर्ल्ड कप जो दर्शक हैं आके एंजॉय कर रहे हैं इतना क्राउड हम तो देख ही रहे हैं लेकिन फॉरेनर्स आके काफी एंजॉय करते हैं ऑल आईज आर ऑन द ब्रांड न्यू स्टेडियम इन राउरकेला ओह इट्स फैंटास्टिक आई कांट वेट टू सी इट व्हेन इट्स फुल um i can't imagine the noise that's going to be surrounded the players and i'm sure it's going to make for an awesome atmosphere this is just outstanding i mean this is set the standard for um uh, world hockey i believe and in odisha and india uh, hockey india have done an amazing job the first day 
of the FIH Men's Hockey World Cup 2023. The day everyone was waiting for. India in Pool D also play their first match today in Raurkela. And India being the host nation, the home fans are excited. Welcome along to the Bursamunda Stadium in Rokala on day one as the hosts India host Spain. And here they come now. India this starts its World, World Cup, Cup campaign well, with a victory. A perfect start to the tournament for them. Teams staying at the World Cup village have all the five-star comforts needed. Thanks to the government of Odisha, within six months period, getting this ready up to the hospitality or Taj level. So that's, a, that's an excellent job which has been done and excellent support in fact. And to ensure that each team has its specific dietary requirements taken care of, a team of highly specialized staff are in service making players feel at home as well as taking care of their nutritious diet which is essential for performing at the highest level. And there it was. The World Cup was on its way. The tournament gets more and more interesting. India draws against England in its second match. While the teams are doing their best, the organizing team is tested yet again. Fog at this time of the year is common here. But what will the teams do if fog doesn't allow large aircrafts to land and take off in time for the next match? Emergency measures were taken to transport the players via chartered airplanes from Raurkela to Bhavaneshwar and their luggage first via road to Jharsagura and then by flight to the players in Bhavaneshwar. In Bhavaneshwar, Germany and top-ranked Belgium play out a draw. The team with maximum points in each group will advance to the quarter-finals. As teams at number two and three will play crossover matches to qualify for the quarters. Having drawn their previous game, India needs to win by eight goals or more to directly qualify for the quarter-finals. But they scrape past Wales and is now forced to play a crossover match to keep their hopes alive in the World Cup. Outside the stadium, they have multiple special events to choose from, like the Dot Fest. and the Raukela City Festival. It is the perfect blend of sports and entertainment. India placed second in Pool D will play New Zealand, placed third in Pool C in their crossover match. This is a do-or-die match for both as the winner will advance to the quarter-finals. New Zealand this crossover match against India underway. In the India will fancy their chances as New Zealand is placed below them in world rankings. But things don't go as planned. The match goes into extra time as the score is leveled at 3 all at the end of regulation time. Unfortunately, it wasn't India's day. New Zealand takes the match in the tiebreaker. India's World Cup campaign is over. But the juggernaut must move on. 
The semi-final between Australia and Germany was an action-packed comeback story. Germany pulled all stops to somehow cross the finish line and defeat the Aussies. Belgium vs Netherlands was no less. A fierce battle in the penalty shootout that could have gone either way. But Belgium pulled through. The stage is set for the finals. A startling matchup. While current champions and favourites Belgium has been one of the strongest teams in this tournament, unexpected finalists Germany have had a rather struggle-filled journey. Coming from behind to win most of their matches, showing great strength of character. But will that be enough to defeat the Goliath Belgium? Seventeen intense days, 43 matches, two World Cup venues, 16 top teams of the world trying to outdo each other. And it has all come to this big match, the finals. Germany take on the defending champions, Belgium. It does not get bigger than this. Belgium strike first with two goals. But like multiple times in the World Cup, Germany comes from behind to level the score. Finally beating Belgium 5-4 in the tiebreaker. A perfect final to a perfect World Cup. An absolute thriller of a match. Germany lifted the trophy, but this World Cup was the collective victory of all those who contributed to making this a huge success, creating a legacy. The huge success calls for retrospect. From hosting the event in two venues for the first time ever, to winning a race against time, achieving record-setting feats in record time, what they've been able to achieve in, the, in these last 14 or 15 months is incredible. The Birsa Munda Hockey Stadium. Oh, this is one of the best stadiums I have ever played in. Chakas. <laughs> Birsa Munda Hockey Stadium is not just a hockey stadium for us, it's a landmark for our club. The World Cup Village. The best quality like a, a four-star or, or five-star hotel. And the brand new airstrip and making it all happen across two venues is an excellent logistics team. We look forward to continuing this partnership with FIS and Hockey India to bring the world-class hockey events to Odisha. So, the top teams, top players want to play here. So, what do we want to do So, no airport, no stadium and no players village. The only thing which was there was Honorable CM's determination. The Hockey Men's World Cup. 2023, organized in Bhuvaneshwar and Raurkila, was a grand success. We received great feedback on the facilities and crowd response. Team Odisha has created new standards in organizing sports events and made India proud. 